everyone, so today's video is going to be 10 mistakes to avoid your freshman year of college. I wanted to make this video because I've told you guys so much advice about what to do, what to bring, stuff like that, but not necessarily too much on what things to avoid and mistakes that a lot of freshmen end up making and aren't really aware of. So that's why I wanted to make this video and tell you guys so you guys are aware of these things. And yeah, because honestly, I feel like my college transition went really smoothly because I watched so many videos. So before summer, when I went into college, I literally watched hundreds of college related videos to prepare myself and that really helped me make my transition to college very smooth so yeah that's why I make so many of these because I really want to help you guys as much as it, these all helped me so yeah so today's video is going to be things to avoid your freshman year and yeah let's just go ahead and get into the video okay so the first thing is going to be to avoid overpacking this is so important because you're gonna end up wearing the same things over again anyway. And I know that when you're first going away, your immediate thought is to make sure you have everything you need. I literally am such a huge overpacker. Like for any trip I go on, I always overpack. And when it comes to college, even though I thought I wasn't overpacking, I still overpacked a ton because I was wearing the same things all the time and I had a full closet of clothes I've never really touched. So I don't want you guys to make the same mistake so really try to avoid overpacking because if there is something that you are going to eventually need you're not going to be like in the middle of nowhere you can get things shipped to you so you don't have to have the mindset that you need to take absolutely everything that you think you need with you just take the main basics that you think you need for clothes and if you need something else later on go ahead and do that there were definitely a lot of things that i ordered throughout the year that i didn't think that i would need so definitely wait and just take your main basics of clothes that you're gonna actually need. And the next thing is to avoid going to study groups or review sessions without studying beforehand. This is something I didn't really think of before and it actually is something that's so important because I know when you first go to a review session or a study group and you're like, okay, this is when I'm gonna start studying for this test or exam or whatever. After that, then I'll start studying and reviewing before the exam. And this is actually like a huge, huge mistake because if it's your first time studying, you're freshly gonna get introduced to the information that's supposed to be on the test. So you're still like barely looking over the information and is it really processing in your mind of what's actually gonna be on it? But if you actually study beforehand, look over the material, if your professor gives you like a study guide of what's supposed to be on the test and you study that before and then you go to the review session afterwards you're gonna be so well prepared for the test there are so many situations where i did the first thing and was just like okay this is gonna be the first time i study and still know nothing and then other times where i study beforehand and go to the review session and i'm like wow i actually only didn't know a couple questions and end up knowing so much information and those are end up being the tests where i feel so confident because i know every single question because the ones that i wasn't sure on are the main couple ones that i focus on and ask the professor or tas on and the rest of the stuff i am actually knowledgeable about so a lot of students make this mistake and but it's such an important one and i wish i realized this earlier on like freshman year because i didn't realize this until this year like as a sophomore so really make sure you guys study beforehand and look over the material before going to a study or review session and you'll be way more prepared for that exam. The next thing to avoid is buying your textbooks from the bookstore before your classes. I know you hear this so much and people constantly remind you like don't buy your books from the bookstore, like make sure you get them somewhere else or wait for after your first week of classes. And I thought like everyone knew this but when I went to college still there were so many people buying all their books from the bookstore and even my friends who got all their books from the bookstore and I'm like did anyone not tell you like you're not supposed to do that so yeah a lot of people still don't really know that you're not supposed to because you could be saving so much more money either if you wait till after your first class or if you find them on Amazon or ask to buy them off of someone else you know so you can save so much money if you don't buy them from your bookstore so definitely do not do this i know there are some situations where a lot of times the book is only available through the bookstore so i know those situations are unavoidable but make sure you guys wait to buy your books as well a lot of freshmen especially because they want to be super prepared will buy their books before classes even start and just like look at all their list and buy all those books before they even start and realize that they don't even need those and that's a huge waste of money so you guys don't want to make that mistake and buy your books before your first week of classes just wait it out and see if you'll actually need them and then if you do make sure you look at other resources like amazon or Chegg and other sites like that to get your books a lot cheaper or rent them things like that do not buy them full price like it's literally like throwing your money away so 
do not do that either. <laughs> the next thing is to stay in your dorm room. It's your freshman year and I feel like people should know that you should not just hide in your dorm room all your freshman year. A lot of people still do this and I don't know like it's just like your one time away from home and so many opportunities to have fun with your friends and just be social, go to different events and stuff. So do not waste your whole freshman year staying in your dorm all day watching Netflix. Yeah that's nice to do but don't do that every single day. I definitely would reserve like one day a week or like something like that just so I could catch up on shows and things like that. But a lot of times I did not want to just stay in my room all day as a freshman because I know it was like my first year. I wanted to meet as many people as I could and really just immerse myself in my new campus. So you guys definitely should do the same and not just stay in your dorm all day because then you're gonna really miss out on different opportunities that you'll never get back. The next thing is to only look at your syllabus the first day of classes. I know once you get that syllabus, all you do is look at it over really quickly and then put it in your backpack and then never open it again. But this is something you actually want to be looking at either every other day or every week, at least a couple times a month because your professor is literally going to lay out every single detail for the semester and their expectations, when assignments are due, and everything like that on the syllabus. And since they don't remind you and tell you when things are going to be due and stuff, this is literally going to give you the whole guide to the class and help you pass the class and get an A in the class. So you really want to look at that often and stay ahead so that way if you see something is due or something's coming up on a day where you're going to be out of town or you know you're going to be really busy that week, you want to be able to get ahead of those things so that way when the time comes you're prepared and you're not like overwhelmed with all those assignments that you have. So really make sure you're always looking at your syllabus and keeping track of all the things that you need to do so that way you're staying ahead of the game and end up getting a good grade in the class and passing with an A. The next thing you want to avoid is taking all the same types of classes. I know after college you're super excited because you're like, I finally get to study only the only things I really want to study and I'm interested in. I still wait those couple years because those first two years when you're taking gen eds, you really want to explore all your options and there's so many different classes you guys can take. You really want to take as many different types of classes as possible. That way you guys can see what things you're actually interested in and maybe get exposed to something you didn't even know of before and maybe you'll find a new interest in that. So maybe take classes of ones that you didn't think you would have been interested in before. What I did a lot of times was literally just look at rate my professor and just check like whichever teachers literally have the highest rating. It would even be like a complete random class and something that I would not seem interested in at all. I end up like loving the class, loving the professor, and learning about something that I literally had no idea about before. So that's a really great way. Instead of just sticking into like, I only want to learn about this subject. No, you really want to open your horizons and learn about different things that you may have not known before. So that's a tip for me that I would say is like look at the best teachers for like any class and just take it and then that'll be something very interesting and open you up to a lot of different opportunities. The next thing to avoid is not checking your school's emails. This is so important. I didn't know that a lot of people don't check their school's emails but you're gonna get so much information from your school like every single day about different important events different important grades a lot of your professors are going to send you a lot of information through your email so always always be checking your email i literally make sure i check my email like every single day multiple times a day i'm constantly checking because there's always important stuff but there's one time it was like the day after halloween i showed up to class it was like a 9 30 a.m class and no one was there and i was like don't tell me this class got canceled like i literally had to wake up so early i was so annoyed and yeah it's because i didn't check my email the night before that it was canceled. So make sure you check your email all the time because you don't even want to show up to classes that end up being canceled just because you didn't check your email. So check your email very, very often as well. The eighth thing you want to avoid is sharing drinks. This is literally how everyone gets sick. They call it like the freshman plague. Like everyone will be sick in the first semester because everyone's sharing drinks, everyone's sick and exposed to so many different things. So you do not want to share drinks. This is like the mistake every freshman makes. I swear every freshman I knew got sick and I was like, oh yeah, I wish I knew to avoid that my freshman year, but no one really avoids it. So you guys really make sure you guys are not sharing drinks. This will help you stay very healthy. And it's like the main reason why people get strep, tonsillitis, mono. So try to avoid all that. I was sick so much my freshman year and it would have been so easily avoidable if that wasn't a thing. So if you guys want to stay healthy, make sure you guys aren't sharing drinks with people. Like if people offer it to you, just say that you're sick and you don't want to get them sick and they'll be like, oh yeah, they'll definitely want to make sure you don't touch their drinks if you tell them that you're sick. They do not want to catch whatever you have either. So 
to say that you're sick. You'll be able to get out of sharing drinks. The next thing to avoid is going home too much. I know at commuter schools this is a big thing, but especially like at other schools, like I'm using my school as an example, like at U of A where it's not so much a commuter school, but if you do live near the school, and like I know a lot of people who are from around the area, do not go home too much. This is a huge, huge freshman mistake. You want to make sure you're staying on campus and with your friends as much as possible. It's a huge different feeling going from a commuter campus feel to an on-campus feel. So really try to avoid going home. That's how a lot of people end up getting really homesick and really dependent on their families. And this is the time where you really want to explore your freedom for the first time. So that's like the one thing. So just avoid going home a lot. And that honestly helped me a lot my freshman year because I didn't go home like at all. I only went home during uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And that helped a lot because when I did go home, that's when I would get homesick because I'm like, oh, I got comfortable here and I don't even want to go back. But when I was just there and just used to it, like I was fine. So I would just avoid going home often. The last thing you want to avoid is having relationship expectations, whether that's for your roommate, your friends, boys, anything like that. Do not have any relationship expectations because this will be a really big letdown and disappointment if you don't end up having that, like becoming best friends with your roommate or having 10 new best friends like the first week of school, getting into a relationship that year. All those relationship expectations are really going to be huge disappointments if you end up not having those. So just be open-minded and not really have any expectations for those things because even from experience like I had a couple of those expectations and now that I don't have those it's kind of like a letdown so just go with the flow and if you end up becoming best friends with your roommate or not like so be it or if you end up making 10 friends or end up making just a couple best friends or end up getting relationship or not like just do not have any relationship expectations for yourself and go with the flow and just see what ends up happening and then you'll end up having a lot better outlook on your whole experience if you do not put any expectations on yourself either so yeah those are all of my 10 freshmen common mistakes to really avoid a lot of freshmen make these mistakes but please try to avoid these i'm hoping someone could actually take these tips and avoid them because there are a lot of these that i made and i wish i didn't so i hope it helps you guys and can prepare you better for your freshman year of college but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already and i'll see you on my next video bye guys